Hey guys, Buffman Gaming back today, bringing another video for our Tactical Weapon Series Part 4. And today we're going to be reviewing a few new Tactical Weapons as well as some attachments. I'll go through the list, we'll build them, I'll show you how to build them from scratch. And the purpose of this again is just to kind of bring more variety to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, specifically to Warzone, so we see some different variety with weapons and attachments. So I'm going to show you some off-meta builds here with some tactical real-world style attachments that you can use to run in Warzone, and they actually are fairly viable if you use them correctly. So, first off, we can start off and see our operators here. We have our Arctic Ops skin for DJ, which is my favorite skin for him, as well as our Protectorate for Bale, which again is probably one of the better Milsim skins in the game, in my opinion, especially for the Spetsnaz side. So, let's go ahead now, and we'll jump right into it. So, first off, we're going to start off with a FAMAS, and I know this is a very odd one, um, I'm going to go through the attachments here, and I won't repeat them for other builds, because a lot of them may be the same, but we're going to do the FAMAS of Elorissier. I've covered this before in the Blueprint series, so what I'll do here is I will strip this down. Again, we're using the Codebreaker Blueprint here, and I believe this was one of the season rewards. You have to look back. I did cover this in a Blueprint video, if you are curious as to how to unlock this one. I believe it was the Season 3 or a Season 2 one, Level 155 reward when you lit ranked up all the way. So... First off, for the muzzle, we're going to go ahead and run a monolithic suppressor. This will be kind of the theme on all these builds. For Warzone, this is just going to keep us off the minimap, which is big. It's also going to assist with the sound suppression and the damage at range. The cons here being the ADS speed and the aim walking steadiness. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now for the barrel for the Mo for Moss, we're going to want to run the 24.4 inch sniper variant of this. And again, we covered this with our FAMAS G2 sniper, this type of, of build that we did um, with the specific barrel length. This is going to assist with the damage range, bullet velocity, and the recoil control, which are all very important specifically for the FAMAS because of that three-round burst. All three of your rounds are never right on target. There is some pretty big muzzle climb there. So we're going to want this barrel. The cons here being the ADS speed and the movement speed for this weapon. Now we'll skip out on the laser for right now. We'll go ahead and run an optic. I'm actually going to go with something uh, pretty interesting here being the 4 times flip. I think this is a really underrated optic. You have the 4 times toggle here that goes to the EOTech for your 1.5 times zoom as well as your 4 times flip there. So you have really ranged engagements as well as closer quarters engagements if you need to toggle back and forth, which I think is a, a big plus versus running something like a VLK where you're stuck at that 3 times zoom range. So you can get a little bit extra range on this as well as the ability to toggle for medium to closer range engagements, which is where this weapon will actually thrive. So pros here are we can toggle the view, the magnification level and the zoom level. The cons here is just the ADS speed. It's a little bit of a heavier optic, so your ADS speed is going to be a little slower. Now we're going to skip out on the stock as well as the ammunition. We'll go for the underbarrel. We're going to run a Merc foregrip. Now, even though this got nerfed recently, I feel it still does help with the vertical recoil for a lot of weapons. Probably the best out of any of the other four grips, I believe. So it's going to assist with that vertical recoil, the hip fire accuracy, which we're not too concerned with. Our main goal here is to just keep that that three burst spread to a minimum, which I think this should help us out the most with here. The cons here being the aim walking movement speed and the ADS speed. Now, the next one we're going to go is with a rear grip. Now again, this is personal preference, but I'm going to go ahead and select the rubberized grip tape. Again, we're going to help to mitigate the recoil with this. The cons are the aiming stability for the weapon. So we'll go ahead and select that. And there is our FAMAS Velorissier or our FAMAS Sniper variant here, essentially. Really built this for, it's, uh, it thrives best at medium range engagements. You really don't want to engage at sniper ranges or longer ranges, but medium range engagements, this three round burst, if you're hitting all three bursts, or all three rounds with a single burst, you're going to drop people very, very quickly. I know that when this was ground loot, um, I was downing people fairly quickly. So you can see it's a very aesthetically pleasing weapon. This is a really good build for solos. If you're running outside of, sol outside of uh, solos or duos, I would recommend swapping out the grip tape for a 50 or even a 60 round stenag mag there. So that is our from Mas Valerissier. Let's go to the next one. We're going to cover the AN94 Avacon. So... I've covered this before for Warzone. This is going to be a very similar build here. We're going to go ahead and I'll strip this down. We'll build it up from base. So the muzzle, again, we're going to want the monolithic suppressor for the same pros and cons as we just re reviewed. The barrel, we're going to want the longest barrel available is the AN94 Factory Experimental 438mm barrel. So again, the same pros and cons. It's going to give us that damage range, bullet velocity, and the recoil control with a few downsides being the ADS speed and the movement speed. 
Next up to mitigate the ADS speed, we're going to go ahead and throw on attack laser. So we got that PEC 15 there on the right side of the Picatinny rail. Nice tan look here. You can also select the black one if you really wanted to from the company's might, but I like the tan and black look there. The cons here are just that the laser will be visible to enemies when you are ADSing. So again, just be vigilant of that and be mindful as to when and where you're ADSing. Now, optic again, we're going to go with a four time slip for this. This is again a kind of an off meta optic here. There's plenty of options you can use here, but again, the same pros and cons here. I think this just offers a lot of variety. You have the four times for the range, which is going to be one of the longer ranges you can get with this weapon, as well as the ability to go medium to closer quarters engagements with that holographic or the EOTech site there. Now we'll go ahead and go to the underbarrel. Again, I'm going to run the Merc foregrip. The same reason we want to help keep that burst on point best we can. And those are our five attachments. So this is the AN-94 Abacon. And you can see there, really nice looking build. This weapon works very, very well. This is actually, what I think, one of the more underrated weapons in Warzone. And I think it probably is actually up there at a B tier. If we're looking at tiers for weapons, probably a B. Now the reticle for this, as well as the FAMAS, I'm going to go ahead and say that we should run a Chevron Tactical. Very easy to get shots on target with this. Pinpoint your target and get your reticle on on target as fast as possible for me personally but again that's personal preference that's typically what i run on a lot of my builds moving on we're going to cover the aug now we covered a similar aug build last video for the tactical weapons part three but this one's just going to be slightly different we're going to utilize the breach beast blueprint here and again we're going to run the monolithic suppressor for the same pros and cons here as we already covered now barrel we're not going to go with the longest one although you could if you really wanted to go with a longer barrel on this you absolutely can that'll help with the recoil control a little bit more as well but again the 407 millimeter extended barrel is going to give us the same pros and cons just a little bit a uh, little bit less than you would get with the 622 millimeter barrel obviously but this is mainly for closer to short medium range engagements and again damage at range bullet velocity recoil control the con here being the ads speed and you're not taking a hit to the mobility like you would with the longer barrel being a 622 millimeter barrel so for blueprint wise i'm running the night raid on this one just to give it a more black uh finish on the barrel there which is nice now we're going to skip the laser we're going to run a holographic here again this is mainly for closer to short medium range engagements, so it's going to assist us with that and then for the rear grip we're going to run the recoil stable or the recoil control grip being the rubberized grip tape again this weapon is kind of has some very odd recoil patterns on it it's really not effective outside of short medium range so this will help us mitigate that recoil best we can and then the ammunition here we're going to run the 30 round today or not stenag bag but 30 round magazine of a 556 by 45 nato you can also have the option to run a 60 round drum mag however this one's going to help out with our mobility over the 60 round drum mag you're going to get the damage and the range bump with this since you're going from nine millimeter parabellum to 556 cons here or the recoil control obviously because we're firing a higher caliber bullet so we're going to select that, and that is our AUG. Mainly, like I said, for closer to short, medium range engagements is where this is going to be effective. Moving on, we'll cover the LWCRI. Again, this is a uh, weapon we covered. I believe this was Season 3 or 4 this came out for the Battle Pass. So this, again, is going to be the same kind of purpose as we just covered for the AUG. It's going to be closer to medium range engagements, primarily close quarters. You're going to have a slower fire rate on this, but it, again, you're firing the 45 round round 45 acp rounds on this so it's going to hit pretty hard so your rate of fire is going to be slower but again it will hit pretty hard so again monolithic suppressor we're going to skip out on the barrel attachment just run the base barrel on this although you do have some options for longer barrels as well as even a shorter barrel we're going to run attack laser again give us that peck 15 there same pros and cons we covered i'm going to run the halcon days blueprint here i think they're just a nice very clean looking Pack 15 there on the right hand side. I like the way that looks with this weapon. So go ahead and select that. We're going to run an EOTech or a holographic site on here just for precision sight picture. We'll give you, I believe it's a one or a one and a half times magnification level on this. So to help you with that magnification just a little bit. And the cons here again, ADS speed, but not very heavy just because it's a very light optic. Then, like I said, we're going to run those 45 round magazines over the base 30 or 25, it may be, of the 45 ACP rounds. So it's going to increase our magazine capacity. The cons here is the movement speed and the ADS speed. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then the final attachment, again, is going to be the Merc foregrip. This weapon does have some pretty significant recoil as far as horizontal and side to side, as well as a little bit of vertical. So it's going to be personal preference which one you want, whether it's going to be a Merc or a Commando foregrip. I think either will work the same way. And again, that's really just going to help us control our recoil 
vertical recoil here with the Merc or our horizontal recoil with the Commando. So that is our LWCRI. And again, effective at closer ranges for this one. I wouldn't go much beyond close range engagements for this. And again, keep in mind, you do have a slower rate of fire. So you want to pick your fights with this weapon. Next up will be the Knight's Armament Company Light Assault Machine Gun. So this one's a little bit different than some of the builds I've covered in the videos I've done on this weapon so far. We're going to run the Monolithic Suppressor on this. Again, sound suppression, damage at range. It'll keep us off the minimap in Warzone, which is always a plus with this. And we're going to maximize our damage at range, which is the big pro for the Monolithic Suppressor. The cons here, ADS speed and aim walking steadiness. Now the barrel is going to be a new one here. We're going to run the XRK Pro Twist. So this is going to help our mobility over the long shot. Now this is the base 600 to 550 rounds per minute firing barrel on this weapon. It's not an adverse, so we're not going to get that rate of fire increase. However, we are going to get the damage at range and the bullet velocity with this weapon. The cons here being the ADS speed. Now I went with this over the advantage just because this weapon in real life and in the game has very little to almost no recoil. So there's really no reason to go with a long shot advantage to get that added recoil. And you can see there also... The range is really not that significant to go with it, so you really don't need to worry about that. The Pro Twist is a good option here. Now again, because we're running a machine gun, we're gonna want a tack laser on this. So we got a PEC-15 on the right-hand side again. ADS speed, aim and stability, and aim walking steadiness. Just be careful, because that is gonna be visible to enemies when you're ADSing. And then personal preference, I'm running a Leopold Hammer Sight or an Integral Hybrid here. So you have that 3.25 zoom optic as well as a top mounted red dot sight there on the hammer the cons here is the ads speed again this is a little bit of a heavier optic so it's going to be a little slow but we're mitigating that with the tack laser <clears throat> now personal preference on these other attachments but i skipped the rest and i'm going to run a ranger foregrip you could also absolutely run a commando foregrip because the recoil on this weapon is so low but again ranger foregrip will help us with that recoil control the vertical recoil the aiming stability and the cons here being the aim walking movement speed and the ads speed and again, this weapon has such little recoil as well already. So I think just having that Ranger Fork up there will help you mi minimize any, the little bit of at least vertical recoil that you may encounter with this weapon. And again, you also have options for ammunition here as well, but I'm running the 75 round belt mag, or the belt here, I think is just more effective. And you, again, you don't lose out on the mobility. So this is our Knight's Armament Company light assault machine gun. And again, this is a very good and underrated weapon here in Warzone using the base firing rate of, rate of fire barrel here at 600 to 650 rounds per minute so let me know down below what you guys think of these weapon builds we covered the knight's armament company light assault machine gun the lwcri the aug the an94 abacan and the famas velarissier or famas velarissier sniper variant almost again using that four times hybrid sight on a lot of these ones here i think is a very good and effective way to run some of these weapons that's again very off meta you won't see anybody using builds like these most likely besides myself and some of the community members. But again, very effective, I think, if you use them the right way. And again, we'll try and shift that meta away from the Commando foregrips and the VLK sites and try and switch things up and add a little bit more variety. And I think these weapons that we covered today are definitely very viable in Warzone. So let me know down below what you guys think. What's your favorite tactical weapon build that we've covered here so far? Any suggestions down below for your favorite tactical weapon setup? Leave them down below and maybe we'll cover them here on the channel as well. If you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so. To like and subscribe, it helps out the channel a lot. And I really appreciate interacting with all you guys. We also have the Discord links down below and social media links. If you ever want to get a hold of me, that's the best spot to do so. So I'll leave you guys with that. And until next time, this is Buckner Gaming with the Tactical Weapon Series Part 4. Until next time, Buckner Gaming, out.